Welcome everybody. This is our first webinar of April. Woo! So from now on, you will see us every Thursday at this time, in this channel, with one of our experts talking about a really relevant topic for to now, for today, basically. So what has been happening is that we hosted all of our events offline. And of course, due to the corona crisis, we decided to launch this special you know, a online event, and we decided to do everything live so it can be more interactive, so you can ask anything to any of our experts. A little introduction about seven days to go for, for those who are just visiting here. We are a one-stop shop for entrepreneurs. We count on more than 40 experts across different business areas, ranging from marketing, sales, business development, coaching, everything you need in one place. And we gather the experts, especially in times of this crisis, to think about how to to add uh, relevant content, how to bring relevant content to your table and help you to reinvent and rethink about your business as an opportunity in this moment. So this event is really special. You know, how we're going to open April with webinars is really special because we are targeting here all those business owners that are in the service category, you know, from coaches, trainers, uh, teachers, yoga instructors, like you name it, any type of service in the creative field or in consultancy, everybody's welcome. This webinar today is going to be about how to sell your services online, you know, across channels. And we're going to really have a strong focus on Facebook, you know, Facebook ads uh, and everything that we can do via Facebook platform with Instagram, Facebook Messenger, et cetera, et cetera. So, we're going to be hosting these events and I want to just drop here in the comments uh, all the event calendar that we have. We're going to be hosting events every Monday and Thursdays. Mondays are for coffee break with me, live Q&A, informal live Q&A with a really nice cup of coffee that I always have with me, of course, here. And um, that's a short one, like 20 to 30 minutes. And on Thursdays, we're going to have like a complete presentation like in a webinar format or a workshop a live format uh, by one of our experts. So today I'm really happy to share with you the full agenda and to welcome our speaker, you know, our expert who is PUS um, uh, or marketing expert. And he's really an expert in Facebook advertising and creating all the funnels for you to get started and to sell online for service based uh, businesses. So welcome everybody. I'm going to introduce our expert. Hey, Hey, hi, Maria. Hey. How are you? Hi. I see that I'm darker than you, and here in Colombia is way earlier. <laughs> I'm with my so. with the evening here, and I'm with the, all my lights, all my floodlights. So, yes. Anyway, you are the star of the day, so it doesn't matter. I'm really happy to welcome you and to Thanks. introduce you to the to our audience for people who are joining just for this event or people that are already following, you know, seven days to go on the expert pool. I'm really happy to have you here and to open you know like this uh, amazing series of events that we're going to be hosting online every thursday so mm -hmm. i give the digital floor to you so you can tell us a little bit more about yourself about, about what we're going to do today okay and okay. i leave all this for you boom so everybody can see you so okay. see you soon guys okay okay Bye. i will see you soon maria hey hi guys so i have a lot to tell you and um, i will quickly go to my slides and there we will start. Let it load. Okay, cool. So uh, I'll introduce myself as well. But before I introduce myself, this is the topic which we'll be talking, uh, which we'll be discussing today, how to sell your services online in times of coronavirus. And you will be learning everything possible, uh, which, uh, which I know. So let's go ahead. Uh, the, uh, the agenda for today would be uh, introduction of seven days to go, which Maria already did. I will introduce myself very quickly and then we will have presentation and then I will be ready for your question and answers. So let's go ahead. A uh, quick um, introduction about me. My name is Piyush, Piyush Modi, and I am one of the expert pool members with seven days to go. Uh, what I do, I am an online marketing expert, especially for training coaches and service-based businesses. And I am a visual thinking coach as well. And I help organizations and um, trainers to uh, to visualize stuffs when they are presenting uh, in their businesses or doing business processes. Here's a quick uh, visual. I al always try to make visuals when I'm presenting something. So this is a quick visual about visual resume, uh, which tells, tells you what I am. 
So the outside world is my business world, which is digital marketing, you can see. Uh, yeah, here's the pointer. And I love uh, team performance uh, workshop, co-creation workshop, change management. I empower people with drawing, uh, business drawings, and I, I try to make work fun. So this is my outside world. My inside world is uh, family. I love to do acro yoga, Krav Maga, pole dance workout, and training. This is my uh, internal world. Switching on to the next slide, the scope of the workshop uh, or the scope of the presentation today will be these five. We'll be talking about uh, the basics of online marketing campaign, how online marketing campaigns are drafted. Uh, we'll be seeing what is the funnel, what is the funnel way of doing marketing campaigns, different types of online activities which you can do in this funnel, and basics of Facebook ads, how Facebook ads can um, help you. And a special focus I will be putting on your online train uh, on on um, uh, if you are a trainer, what you can do to create your online stuffs. So quickly moving forward. OK, so here we start. This is the topic for today, how to sell your services in the times of Corona. And when we have started this topic, we have to understand the the terminologies, uh, especially selling services and coronavirus. Let's take services first, and then we will take uh, coronavirus, and then we will take selling. Now, when I'm saying services, let's see it from a broader perspective, business types. Now, these are the types of businesses which you can think of in this world. So basically, there are only two kinds of businesses. One is uh, you can sell products or you can sell services. When you're selling products, of course, uh, either you can manufacture a product and then sell it, or you can be a trader in the form of uh, somebody else is manufacturing and you are a trader in between, or you are selling services. Now, selling services are of so many kinds, but if you think in detail, you can bucket those services in uh, training, consulting, or when you're actually offering uh, some tangible or intangible. Uh, activities like uh, a hair cutting saloon is also a service. So you, either you can sell products or you can sell services or you can give training and consulting. Training and consulting is also kind of services, but then I've put it uh, separately to put more focus on it. Yeah, I hope it is clear, simple. Now, the second slide, uh, you you remember, we, are, we, we did the services part, the types of businesses, and now we are switching to coronavirus. What happened? So coronavirus. What has changed in this corona um, uh, corona times? Basically, uh, corona times means uh, you cannot go out, right? Uh, you have to stay in and uh, you have to uh, do social distancing. Now, when you are doing social distancing, these are the four things which are near you or which are um, your, your helping hands in the times of social distancing. You are stuck to uh, internet, TV, or you are reading books, or you are doing talks with family. Anything else you think uh, we are doing, you can write it in comments. This is what came to my mind, uh, what we are doing in social distancing. Now, let's see why we are visiting this slide here. Do you remember the, the last slide we did on products, services, training, and consulting? So the yellow part is your business part. This is your business. And this is what your end customers are doing. Now, intelligence lie, intelligence lie in bridging these. Can you bridge? Your product services uh, from um, uh, to the to the Corona times where people are uh, watching uh, TV, internet, books, family, or, or doing family talks. This is where your product development comes into play. What kind of how you can transfer your business uh, in these lines? We'll be talking about it uh, in detail in the in in few slides later. So this is this was about Corona times. Now selling. This is the most important part of. Uh, this slide, how to sell your services in the times of Corona. Now, pay special focus on this slide. I want really you guys to focus from here because this is where the, the core of marketing lies, selling. Now, let me let me weave a story around it so that you understand it nicely. So selling, let's, let's, let's talk very in very simple words um, and forget online selling right now, a real world selling. Now, let's take a real world example. Forget that you have internet, forget that we have technology. Imagine you are um, around 25 years back where there was no, no internet, and then you have to sell in the real world. Let's see what you will do. 
and we will compare it with online selling and let's take an example of uh, a yoga teacher so this girl is setting up her yoga business and um, she wants to uh, yeah she wants to uh, be successful in her yoga business let's see what she will do in the real world now let's let's take some example keep on thinking keep on working out in your brain as well and i'll be weaving a story around it so what she does is she goes out and gets her um yoga pamphlet printed out saying that oh wow i'm offering a yoga class in uh, 20% flat off or maybe whatever offering discount yeah this is the first step that she takes many people do that right what is the second step she takes uh, not many people came to this uh, class and what what second step she takes ah she she prints another bunch of uh, pamphlet a discount pamphlet or a price pamphlet and then she puts out uh, uh, in the market or maybe she puts out um, in her apartment okay again no success oh again she does the same thing she puts out her discounted um, pamphlets and puts out uh, you know again uh, there is no success in the business and then she starts thinking ah and then then the excuses this is called entrepreneurial excuses these excuses starts coming ah my luck was not good um, the market was not ready this and that my family didn't support and all those kind of stuffs happen and these are all excuses and um, not relevant reasons for you to because it was destined to be unsuccessful let's see what you will do what what a regular business guy uh, which i have seen in my experiences do, does in online when you when you do it in online so the same lady when when she has internet and now she is a modern lady with her which has internet what she will do her first post will go as wow i am selling yoga classes buy from me again the same thing she goes online and the first post is buy from me okay no one buys um she again after few weeks she again does the same thing goes on facebook again makes a post of buy from me she basically what she is doing is she is offering a uh, um uh she she is offering her product directly to buy again the same thing third time she goes and again offers a pitch uh, a sales pitch to them mm -hmm. according to me this is doomed to be unsuccessful your business will never flourish if in the first step you are offering a sales um, sales pitch to your 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 possible audience now let's see again come back to the real world and see what she could have done right to be successful in the real world and let me know if you also felt this by your common sense and marketing is just common sense you know it's not a big deal you don't need to do an mba marketing or something just common sense human psyche and you will be a successful marketer let's see what she would have done in the real world to be successful the first thing she would have done is oh she would have talked to her neighbors hey yeah i have started a yoga lesson what do you think uh, do you think it will be successful or not or, or just introduce yourself to your neighbors your local community the second step she would have done is this put out a pamphlet or put out an offer that let's do yoga in my backyard or maybe maybe uh, anywhere for free just join me and when we we'll, we'll have fun in this way she will be exposing herself for people to try out her services the third step which she would have done is offered a prize now this is the step when she is offering a prize now see the difference between the two two campaigns kind of a campaign she is running in first she is not starting with uh, a direct pitch of her services she is just making people aware of what she is doing what is her intentions behind doing what is her passion behind doing all these the second step is basically engagement in which she is engaging people to try out her services so this is engagement in which people are trying out her services for free and then the third step comes is of pitching them a a, a buy option or selling them something so this is called a funnel approach i'll be i'll be telling you more details on this now let's uh, let's see what what she would have done online how an online funnel approach is done for a success, successful business the first thing she would have done is made a facebook post on the similar line in the real world you are actually going and talking to your neighbors in facebook basically you already have an audience and that's the power of internet your neighbors could be handful five or six but on internet at least 200 to 300 people know you go on internet and tell tell them on facebook or on any social media that this is what you are trying to do this is your passion this is the what how and why of your business just introduce your business in this in this uh, phase
The second is make a Facebook event, invite people to join you for free to test out, uh, to just try yoga lessons, uh, not lessons, but yoga classes for three, four, three, four times. The third one is now the third step is your pitch. You now show the pitch to your audience. And of course, these three activities are not done in a single day. They, you have to book a time, a bunch of, a bucket of time, for example, 25 days to 30 days of this campaign in which initial few days you will be doing only awareness post, and then you will be doing some engagement post, and then you will be doing some sales pitches. Um, because I'm speaking to you, I don't know whether you have doubts or not. Keep noting your doubts. I think you have pen and paper with you. The last 10 minutes, I'll be giving it to you for your questionnaire. Okay, so keep noting this and we can again revisit these slides. So this is how a typical business works. Uh, let's see now. So let's let me let me um, put this in your brain so so strongly that you never forget this. Now see this. We were talking about this lady selling yoga, and we talked about the good good activities or the or the good way of doing real world business, um, neighbors engagement, so awareness engagement, and then pitch sales pitch. And similarly, in online ways, you are putting a, a post on uh, on your Facebook and then making an event and then pitching it. Now, what is this all? Here is the, the most important thing which comes to marketing, this funnel. So, may, so see that from a marketing angle, what looks to you commonsensical, what, what you say as common sense in your in, in a non-marketing way, we marketers call it a funnel. So the funnel is basically the first step which you were doing either in real world or in online was the awareness part of it. The second was the consideration part of it in which you are giving a taste of your services. You can compare this in any field of business. Any successful business runs through this funnel. For example, take an example of a sweet shop. If a new shop is open um, in your neighborhood, um, when you step in the shop, they offer you some sweets to try it for free. And that is basically the consideration. They are wanting you to engage with their product. So that's a consideration stage. And the third stage is called the conversion stage in which the yoga classes, you make a pitch. And that's the conversion stage. I'll tell you what are the different kinds of activities which you can do in these three phases. of. So keep remembering awareness, consideration, conversion, ACC, awareness, consideration, and conversion. So we have covered this topic, how to sell your services in the times of coronavirus. We talked about services, which was product, services, training, consulting. You remember that slide? We talked about what has changed in coronavirus times. Basically, you're not going out. You are making a social, you are making social distancing. Internet TV, books, and family talks is your way to entertain yourself or to engage yourself. And then third one is selling, in which we talked about this funnel. Absolutely clear. If not, keep noting down your questions and I'll be answering those um, in the end. Now, let's go deeper into this sales funnel. How the sales funnel, understand the sales funnel even better. So this picture is very clear to you, awareness, consideration, and conversion, right? Now, what activities you do generally to uh, in these kinds of, in this bucket or in this phase of your campaign? In awareness, just introduce yourself. Tell the what, why, and how of your business. That's it. Nothing, no pitching, no, no, no giving them free stuffs, not offering them a pitch, a sales pitch, just making them aware that what you are doing. What do you do in this consideration stage? Offer something for free. Let them try out. Now, this free can be a free workshop, a free webinar. What we are doing right now is the consideration stage. So just, just keep keep yourself aware that whenever a business or whenever someone, uh, you know, when you go out in the market, everyone is in this phase, either it's a shop or a service or anyone. So consideration stages in which you are being offered something for free for you to try out. And the consideration stage is when you're offering a sales pitch, when you're actually giving a prize to your offers that, okay, this is my prize, either it's in discount or not discount, depends on your business plan, but this is where you actually sell your services. Very important part is that in each stage of this funnel, the audience is not new. So if awareness, uh, if you are talking to, if you are, if you are introducing your business to 1000 people in the awareness stage, then Talk to the same thousand people in your consideration stage. You are not re. You are not bringing new audience to your business. This is only. This is the same audience which you are showing your consideration communication now. Now you are saying you are showing to the same audience your conversion 
uh, communication now. And now I will also tell you how you do this in Facebook. This is a theory right now, but you can do this actually uh, in a very mechanical uh, uh, manner and in a very calculative way. Let's see. Also, see that how you are, um, uh, how how the definition of your um, of the person you are engaging with is changing. So before doing this, everyone was a stranger to you. Stranger to you by by saying, I mean, stranger to your business. Everyone was a stranger. Now, after you have introduced them to your business, they have become your traffic. In marketing terms, we call them traffic. That okay, the traffic has come. After they have engaged with your service uh, in, in, in any free form, they have now become your, your leads. So this is how the definition changes. They have become your leads now. And once the lead goes through the conversion stage in which you are making a sales pitch, this is also called a nurturing stage in which maybe in, in, it depends on the businesses. Um, may, like if you are buying a house, just a sales pitch won't work. People will talk to you. They will call you. They will meet you. Uh, maybe someone calls you at dinner. All these things are called nurturing stages, which is the part of this conversion stage in which your lead changes to a customer. This is how this is called customer's journey in, in the marketing terms. It goes from being a stranger to a traffic to a lead to a customer. Yeah, this is how the pool is. Let's see in each of these, what kind of activities you can do. So I've I've tried to color code the same thing. So compare the orange with the orange and pink with the pink and green with the green. So in, in awareness stage, these are the things which you can do. And when I'm saying these are the things which you can do, I'm telling you from a marketing point of view, these are the activities. These are the marketing activities you should do in awareness stage. Give me one second. I have to check my phone so that I see that whether things are going fine or not. Um, can you give me a thumbs up if uh, if everything is going fine? Uh, my volume is okay, and you can see my slides. I'm checking my phone. Just give me a thumbs up if if things are fine. Let me let me just see. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going back to the 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 video. Okay, yeah, thumbs up. Um, Cool. So these are the activities. Uh, these are the marketing activities you should do in the awareness stage. You should run a Facebook awareness ad campaign. Similarly, in the you can run Google ads. You can run LinkedIn ads. You can run influencer marketing. These are the inorganic ways of working. What do you mean by inorganic ways in which you pay and then things work? So inorganic in business terms means you pay and things work. What are the organic methods? Organic methods is you can do SEO in which you write uh, content so that people naturally come on your website because you are writing a lot of good content and then they become from stranger to a traffic. So that's when you say, oh, I'm receiving this much traffic on my website because you are posting a lot of com uh, a lot of content. But you need not do content marketing or SEO on the first day because this is a long term process. It needs six months for your content to be shown on Google to people who need them. Initially, to become successful, you should um, you should do inorganic methods in which you spend money and get results fast. Similarly, again, other organic methods are social media posts, which you keep doing your your organic social media posts um, uh, with your uh, already connected audience, and then Quora question and answer. That's also becoming a very important platform to convert organic um, from organic traffic to bring organic traffic. Now, what do you do in consideration stage? Compare the pink with the pink. Now, when you are in consideration stage, you should run an FB re Facebook retargeting lead generation ad campaign. I will tell you a little bit about it in later slides, but this is called FB retargeting lead generation ad campaigns, which you will show to people who have come through all these methods um, from the big orange orange basket, which I'm showing you. From all these methods, if, if you are making one lakh traffic per month, then you will be doing these pink campaigns for that one lakh traffic. Now let's come to the in, oh yeah, by the way, uh, I didn't discuss. So the pink one is do an FB retargeting lead generation ad, make a landing page form. So that's when your website comes into picture. Website is basically your consideration stage tool in which people fill a form on your website. Or you can also do a MailChimp or ConvertKit um, uh, form. You can make use of them. You don't even need to make a website. If you are uh, ready to spend some bucks, you can actually buy um, a monthly package from MailChimp or ConvertKit and make your landing page from there. 
what do you do in the third stage this is the third stage in which now you are running an fb conversion ad campaign to all the people who have seen your pink uh, your these activities you can run a drip email in which um, you must be receiving a lot of emails uh, in your inbox what are these these are called drip emails in which people are nurturing you they are introducing you to your service so that in in 5 to 6 email um automations you can buy their services this is called drip email campaign sms conversion you are receiving smss that's also the conversion stage activities whatsapp nurturing people are talking to you on whatsapp that's also a conversion stage campaign and linkedin conversions if you are talking to linkedin and most of the time when you are talking to linkedin and then you are um, then you are organizing a meeting uh, a coffee meeting these are all conversion stage campaigns mm, very important slide um read this slide thoroughly uh, even after the webinar to understand that what are the campaigns you should do very important point is um um many a times um, you do so many activities you spend time and energy but you actually don't know that on which activity you are on which stage you are spending most so many times we, you will be spending let's say 80% of your budget in the awareness campaign and you are not aware that you should have a consideration and a com- conversion campaign as well so all your money goes in your awareness campaign and nothing is left for consideration and conversion and overall it's a bad roi return of investment for you because your marketing campaigns don't work so an intelligent marketer is that is 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 who 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 channelizes these um these activities in the funnel format and associates a particular budget and time for these activities okay i will spend 30% on my awareness campaign i will spend 20% on consideration campaign and maybe i'll spend 50% on my conversion campaign with these activities this is how a, a, a an intelligent marketer should work in your um, in for your for your business let's go to what happened let's uh, go to the okay yeah in a very pictorial format now i am again explaining you how the whole process it's a very uh, artistic way of showing so this this is what i have created my online factory so what is this online factory uh, imagine it to be a factory which produces customers what what happens first of all you are bringing traffic you are sucking in traffic to your campaign from just read the the vertical lines influencer marketing adwords seo uh, social media which is the which is all these which is written here now these are being sucked up and goes in your uh, traffic to lead conversion uh, machinery basically this is nothing but your website it could be your um, your lead generation form your your landing page form your mailchimp or convert kit so this this yellow thing is basically hinting to the the pink one here uh this is your uh, this is the second stage which is your um, engagement uh, campaign now th- this is where your traffic has been converted to lead see these are leads dropping here and now they are going to the lead to customer converting unit basically the third one this is the conversion campaign which you have to run so fb conversion ads drip emails sms conversion all these things when you do this is when you will convert your lead to customers and here i have also shown fourth because this is the power of online marketing in which you analyze stuffs that which has worked for me on which campaign i spent more and got less results can i tweak so month by month you you analyze 1 2 3 so basically one uh, basically one two and three buckets and then you keep tweaking them so that you reach an efficiency and this becomes your so at the end of the day your marketing campaign should look as simple as that you say okay i will put in 100 euros in this in this part and i will fetch 200 euros from this part that's it this is how online marketing or online automation works when everything is done or established then you just you have to just see the numbers okay if you want to earn 200 i will put in 100 or if i have to earn 2000 i will put 1000 that's the number and the rest back end marketing works on its own that's that's the power of online marketing now um let me quickly introduce you to facebook ads as well and show you how facebook particularly again i'm bringing to bringing you to the same slide these are all the ways of doing this funnel marketing google ads linkedin and landing page mailchimp these are all and that's why the book of marketing has so many chapters but right now today i'm i'm introducing you to fb ad c fb ads can be run in the first stage fb ad can be run in the second stage and fb ad can be run in the third stage as well and that's when i'm introducing you to 
FB ads here, retargeting in Facebook ads. Now, I've shown you this waterfall in which you are moving from awareness to engagement to conversion. Now, again, put this picture in your mind that awareness stage, you are showing these activities, engagement stage, you are showing these activities and conversion stage. The importance of this slide is that the audience remains the same. You have to run through different kind of three different kinds of communication to the same person. So this person who becomes your customer should have um, um, should have experienced three kinds of communication. Sh he, he should have uh, received an awareness communication. He should have received your engagement communication. He should have received your conversion uh, communication. And that's the human psyche in which now he is confident to buy from you. Now, in the first slide, remember what the, the, the bad marketer, the bad business person was doing. He was just focusing on conversion, conversion. All the three steps was a conversion communication. And that's 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 somehow human psyche doesn't work. They want you to know first. They want you to they want to experience your product or service first and then go to uh, conversion. I'm keeping an eye on my time as well. Types of audience. Uh, quickly in awareness campaign you go to you show this awareness campaign to open audience i will show you in fb ads what's an open audience now these two stages are shown to the retargeted audience which means you are showing this communication consideration communication to only those who have seen your awareness communication similarly you are showing this conversion communication to only those who have seen your con consideration communication again stranger traffic lead customer Let's see real Facebook dashboard. Now in this dashboard, I will, Facebook marketing is also a big ocean, but right now I'll be focusing on two aspects of Facebook ads. I will show you how Facebook offers this funneled way of making ads. I will actually show you the dashboard and I will also show you how Facebook um, helps you in open audience and retarget audience. Let's see. Um, yeah, so you're ready? I think so. Now here I will go to my Facebook and now when you go to your Facebook, this is where you have to go and click on manage ads. When you, man when you click on manage ads, this is the dashboard which will open. So when you click on manage ads, these are my ads which I play for my services, my visual thinking services. I will um, give a br brief introduction to you. But here you will see ad manager and here you will see create. Now with this create, if I click on create, I will show you what happens. And then I will go again back to ad manager and, and I will show you audience. Here is where you can draft or you can design your audience. Let's uh, go to create. Now, uh, keep remembering this, uh, this slide. I'm again going back to this. Remember, we were talking about awareness, consideration, conversion. And here, um, see that. Start again. So see that when when you are uh, when you are going to ad manager and you you are starting to create an ad. See what Facebook tells you to do. Facebook again uh, is reinforcing the same concept: awareness, consideration, and uh, conversion. It asks you to make whether you want to make an awareness campaign or a consideration campaign or a conversion campaign. Remember this slide I was talking to. I was talking about um, this one. In the first phase, you can make an FB ad, which is uh, awareness campaign. Again, in the second one, you can make a lead gen lead generation traffic campaign. This is the lead generation uh, campaign which you can make. And in the third one, you can make a conversion campaign. So Facebook ads is designed in a marketing way. And that's, again, something you have to notice that Facebook is a marketing tool. And we are all its product when you are face, when you are posting your happiness and your emotions on Facebook, understand that marketers like me or others are using it. And yeah, this is true. Uh, the more you show your emotions on Facebook, the more we use it because now we can easily bucket you in awareness, consideration and conversions. So this is how you, you do it. It would need another webinar for me to go inside it. But now I want to go back to the... Um, the ad manager and click on audience. Now see what kind of audience, um, I'm going back to this slide so we, we know what we are talking about. Um, we will be talking, so I showed you how Facebook offers you the funnel way of making ads. And I'm showing you now how it offers an open audience making and retargeted audience making. Mm, it's taking time, let's see. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> it's taking time. Can't help. Yeah. So uh, by that time, I can tell you that open audience. I told you that you should uh, run your awareness campaigns for open audience. Open audience means you are bringing new audience on the table, and consideration and conversion should be a retargeted. What happened here? Should be should be shown to uh, people who have already seen these. uh buckets who have already gone through your awareness communication and consideration communication and then come to your conversion communication mm-hmm. okay cool so here you will see that this is where if you click these are my audiences which i have created um a lot of audiences because i run a lot of campaigns now here is what you can do when you click on create audience see what is it is doing it is go, custom audience let's go to custom audience now see what it is doing now custom audience i'm i'm first telling you the retargeted audiences uh in custom audience this is how facebook tracks each and every activity of yours so it is asking me that okay you tell me do you want to target those who have come on your website now understand that i told you the website is already a consideration stage it means that i have already introduced my service to people through sharing my blogs or or giving them information of my awareness and then they have landed on my website um um and then i can track them that people who have who have shown interest in what i do have landed on my website and now i can track i can focus uh i can draft a, or i can design an audience for those who have uh, landed on my website similarly see instagram business profile people who interact with me on my instagram business profile i can target them i can make an audience out of it people who have seen my videos so now you, you your mind will be clicking uh, all those free content which is showing which is shown to you um, you will be amazed that why people like uh, why people are investing this much money and time to prepare free content for you to read Th- this is because they are putting you from in the awareness stage so that you become from stranger to traffic and after you have become traffic they will start showing you um, second stage of ads uh, realize that when you visit your uh, visit some websites uh let's say you are visiting an e-commerce websites then on the next day you will start seeing a uh, post of that website on your facebook um, uh, dashboard this is why because they have made a campaign which said uh, track those people who have interacted with me either on my website or my instagram page or seen ha- my video or even this uh, facebook page so whenever somebody it also tracks you whenever somebody uh, engages with your facebook post any of your post you can also target them and that's how we have uh, that's how you can design these kind of uh, audiences for example uh see here i have designed an audience facebook page engagement 365 that means since one year people who have uh, interacted with me i will now show them only only those people i will show with my consideration uh, communication and see it is showing me 14000 so 14000 is the size of people who have in some way or the other interacted with my facebook page similarly my instagram page 26000 people have interacted in some way or the other they might have commented liked or anything and this is the um, this is my uh, i will be showing them the consideration ads to these uh, people yeah similarly now this was this was uh, quickly if i have time i will tell you that look alike audience is one of another thing uh, you can actually make a look alike audience of your existing audience which is a big tool which facebook offers we'll talk about it later um the open audience when you are making i'm again going back <laughs> go back so an open audience is basically facebook will tell you that whom do you want to target which country which age group uh when you when you make an ad campaign uh when you create an ad campaign choose any ad campaign and um, yeah it's okay it will go it will take a little time but an open um, an open audience means uh, P- uh facebook will tell you okay which country you need to focus which uh, age group you need to focus and then the big tool facebook gives you three more big tools which says interest behavior and demography 
So basically, you can target people with their interest level. Okay, are they interested in graphic design? Are they interested in marketing? Um, what is their behavior? Behavior is a big tool. You can actually target in Facebook people who have friends who have got married uh, one month back or friends whose birthday is coming. So if the birthday is coming, you will start pushing them uh, gift ads, you know. So whenever you are updating your Facebook that you have traveled from this place to this place or you have bought this thing you are showing off your big car and uh, you are showing off that um, you have joined a new company or when you are updating your job titles voila that's for me i can now target that these are these are your interest levels these are your behaviors and this is your demography that's how facebook that's how facebook penetrates in your life uh, again i am going to my presentations Okay, cool. So the third stage now. This was about how Facebook can help you in uh, in in, in practicalize or uh, in um, in executing this funnel. Now I'm uh, going to the last stage of my presentation, which is how you can shift your real world services to your online services. And this one is specifically for the services uh, and not the products. So if you have services, then you can create three forms of online offerings from your services. One is develop your online course. Uh, Second is start your online trainings. And the third one is start offering your uh, online services. For example, if you were, if you are a painter or, or for example, if you are a trainer and people were calling you uh, to give trainings, then start offering them some services of your trainings. You have to brainstorm on this uh, to, to come up with these offerings. I can show you examples, but a uh, quick example is this. So this is my page, which is a visual communication page. And see, uh, I, have off, I have started with visual communication online trainings. Uh, these are the four aspects of it. Business drawing, visual storytelling, sketch notes, combina combination of both these. So this is the third part which I'm telling you, which is the uh, start offering services. Now, the online training, um, this is, uh, mm, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, so if you go uh, to my welcome page, mm, mm, and uh, this is my online course, which I have launched on uh, Udemy. And uh, this is how you can, so this is an online course. Yeah, of course you can get me and get in touch with me if you want to design your online course or something, but this is how my course looks like uh, from backend or here is my course, sorry. So this is the online course, which I've already drafted. It's a two hour course, visual storytelling and sketch noting. So this is what you can also do. Uh, start your online training and um, start your course. Quick, uh, I will be sending you this uh, presentation as well. But to develop an online course, basically you need some infrastructure and some online tools. Infrastructure is a very good microphone. This is my microphone. Trust me, it is far better than your uh, this headphone microphone. Um, you must be re experiencing it right now as well. So you need a good microphone, a good camera. It can be a good uh, phone as well. If you don't have a good phone, uh, DSLR camera can work. You can also use a uh, webcam, a good webcam. Then these are the tools which will help you. I won't be going in detail, but Active Presenter is one tool in which you can show your picture and present your slide as well. That That's a fabulous way of uh, making your online course. You can use Soapbox Chrome extension as well and it also does the same thing in which you can it captures your image and then uh, shows your screen share as well um so face cam plus screen share is equal to soapbox then publish it once you have prepared your content publish it on udemy or teachable or thinkific these are three big platforms in which on which you can uh, put your online course or if you don't want and they will charge something um uh, per month for putting up your course, or if you want to do all free, then you have to take help of a marketer or if you have to dig in yourself by um, uh, using an LMS tool, learning management system plugin on your WordPress website by which you can upload your course. Uh, or the second one is start your online training. Again, for your online training, you will need a good mic, camera, and Zoom software. Zoom is a fabulous software. Um, uh, if you want to uh, do a targeted uh, audience, like five, like 10, 15, five, the paid version of Zoom can take 50. And uh, if you're doing an open audience, like what we are doing, try to use Facebook Live option or use Be Live or StreamYard, which we are using right now, if you want to do Facebook Live sessions. And of course, offering services is an open one. You have to design it yourself. Okay, am I on time? I am late by two minutes. Oh, oh my watch is... Oh. 
I think I'm on time. Oh, I'm before time. Uh, it's 6.45 here. <laughs> so I'm open to your question and answers. And uh, I'm opening my Facebook from my phone to see your questions and answers. OK, so I'm reading it now. And this is the time for you to ask me questions. We have uh, 10 minutes before we wrap up. Uh, yeah, OK. So Maria, how to reach the right audience with Facebook ads? I think Linda, I already answered it because I showed you those uh, those ads. Facebook offers open targets, open target, open audience, and retargeted audience. So open target is pretty simple: demography, interest, behaviors, and retargeted is people who have engaged with your content already. Visited Facebook personal page or business page? Facebook personal page. When you click on Facebook personal page and under the drop down, you will see ads. So the ads option is on your personal account. Such a nice way of showing portraying this. OK, thanks, Loveleen. Um, OK. Will you be sharing the PDF copy of the presentation? Yes, yes. You will be receiving on your email uh, the presentation copy. It might go to your spam folder. So check your spam folders as well. Uh, you will receive it from 7 days to go.com. Charu, you are asking me, can we target three categories of customer lists like different campaigns? Of course, yes. So you actually, you will be drafting three campaigns. Uh, um, let me show you if it is possible. These are my campaigns. So these are my campaigns. See, uh, I'm running an Instagram campaign right now in which I'm doing a 21 days of free content. I'm giving them 21 days of free content. And I'm still making an ad. ad and my lifetime budget is 30 euros. And I'll be paying six. Uh, I'll be um, doing it for six days. Um, and uh, this is the reach and impressions it has received till now. And till now, I've only uh, invested 22 euros something. Uh, so by this, people will be reaching my Instagram page. And then I'll be, see, now I'll, uh, this is a beautiful example. See, these are the ads which I'm running for my Udemy course, which I've, uh, which I've um, drafted here, or which I've um, made ready here. This is the Udemy course, which I'm targeting in Germany. This is the Udemy course, which I'm targeting in UAE. And this is the Udemy course, see, I'm targeting in web plus others. Web plus others means my target audience is people who have engaged on my Instagram or my Facebook page and see the difference here. See what 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 the results are giving me, link clicks. The open audience, I, I'm just trying it out. I keep experimenting with ads. See, I'm this is the mistake which I'm doing here, but deliberately because every um, campaign is a hit and trial at the end of the day. Uh, I've, I'm, I'm showing this uh, Udemy campaign, a discount campaign to my open audience, which is not the right way of doing it. And see what kind of clicks, what kind of results I'm getting. Impressions low, low in number. Uh, my cost per result is 60 cents, and I've only got two links. But see what happens when I'm showing this campaign to web and others. Basically, people who have already um, got uh, people who have or, who are already um, aware or, or who have already experienced awareness content from me. 129 clicks and these many impressions and these many reach and see my cost per result 0 0.01 cents. It, it's an absolute proof of this funneling. Uh, when you show your consideration campaign or your conversion ads to people who have already aware of your services, that's how this is the kind of results you get. See, isn't it fabulous? OK, uh, I go back to this. And uh, how do you can? OK, now I'm reading it again. In this case, as you mentioned, the ads will be in personal page. Can't we combine the audience of both the personal page and business page? Yes, Abhay, we can do it. Uh, but then that, that's an in-depth uh, thing of uh, LinkedIn ads. LinkedIn also helps you to create business pages. But yeah, that's an agency level kind of stuff. This is how I interact with my clients. How do you convince, convince clients to individually invest in um, ACC? Convince clients to... In yeah, so you mean to say, how do I convince my clients by giving these kind of webinars, by showing them your proof that this is working for me, so this will work for you as well. So show them the proof of funneling. As a startup business, how do we decide uh, budgeting? So Anisha, uh, for this, uh, read, some, uh, read some PDFs online. Every business is on analyzed by experts. So if you are, do, if you are an e-commerce expert or if you are... Uh, if you are um, 
or if you are a trainer expert then read some uh, read some uh, market analysis that what marketers are investing in what is working for them that's how you you make some budgeting that that will give you an idea if not the hit and trial is the method what should be the duration of an ad running on each stage awareness campaign okay so for this um, uh, who has asked this krishma krishma palekar uh, after this you will receive this document as well and uh, in this i have shown you what you should do for your business um, and you will you will love it and here i have told you this is how you should make a timeline for your launch a uh, 25 days it can be 25 days or um, 45 days or 90 days and this is how you fix your days so 12 days of awareness content 8 days of engagement content 5 days of conversion uh, content and that's how you fix time to your campaigns as well you will receive the document and you'll be able to see uh, uh, how you can work on your how you can how you can use this document in your own business dipanita um, how to allocate budget i have already answered uh, either you do hit and trial keep uh, um, investing some money in this uh, in these kind of funnel campaigns and you will reach a sweet spot and that will become your automation or read some uh, already analyzed uh, pdfs to see what kind of budget you should allocate to these funnel purnima need to know more on investment in all three stages of acc yes it's an important question this is where a marketer comes into picture now here i have to add there are two kinds of marketers one is a marketer who is actually an expert of exactly what you need to do so for example i am a marketer who is specialized for training and services now there are few marketers which will say okay i am a facebook expert now marketing comes with experience what experience means here is an experienced marketer knows that sweet spot he will exactly tell you that this has to be your awareness content this has to be your engagement content and this has to be your conversion content and this will work because i have already run so many campaigns and this has worked but an inexperienced marketer he will come cheap but he will you will be wasting a little money or i i won't say wasting in marketing you always invest money you will be investing money in experimentation so he will do a lot of campaigns in the conversion in the awareness stage he will do a lot of campaigns in the consideration and the engagement in the conversion stage and then after hit and trial you will know that okay this has worked for me this has worked for me and this has worked for me and that will be your acc but an experienced camp marketer comes a little costly but he exactly knows and he will save your time and money in wasting from creating those kind of content somya is asking do you do a full fledged session on marketing for a specific team for a company yes somya so um i offer three kinds of services a training service um consulting service and actually an execution service so i go to companies and if companies want uh, their team to be an expert of marketing i teach them i tell them what to do what not to do it's a three or four days of a full fledged uh, uh, knowledge transfer and then they become then they can help their their business they or their own company so i do consulting and training as well Karen thank you people Piyush for your time here this was so fruitful <laughs> thanks Karen for joining i don't see any questions so uh with this i i can go back to my slides to uh where is it yeah here mm, okay so let's see what happens question and answer yeah so what is the next step i'll be sending you a checklist one to one which i already showed you the the word document and you can um you can yourself draft your business uh, funnelize your business basically it's called funnel your business um in the way in which document has been designed it's free do it if you face any difficulty i am available for the next two days only for next two days i have booked my timings from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock Uh, Amsterdam time. Calculate it with your own country time zones, and uh, you can book a thirty-minute free call with me to discuss how uh, your business can be, uh, how how Facebook ads can help your business. If you have not received this checklist in your inbox, then email here, and they will send you. It might go to your spam folder. Oh, sorry, it might go to your spam folder or something. So email here, and they will send you uh, the checklist. and you can also book a 30 minute free call one to one call with me so that was it from my side i hope it was um, fruitful you learned something and it might help you uh, in your business at least your business will be a little more successful with this webinar i thank you all for attending this hearing me out for 45 minutes i hand it over to you maria
Bravo, bravo. So, uh, thank you. Wow, what a lot of content. And thank you for telling us everything that there is to know about how to launch your services and how to use, you know, Facebook and the platforms, not only paid, but also in an organic way. Yes. I really like the part where you basically establish the simultaneous, you know, like the, the parallel to what happens in the offline world. Mm -hmm. And it's really common for us. I'm also in marketing, you know, that we come and clients is like, yeah, we, yeah, so we post it and then we sell. I'm like, hello. <laughs> One <laughs> of the things uh, that in the offline world. So it's really good how you, you know, you link it together. Yeah, very true. And many times I see, uh, Maria, that marketers create that uh, that magic uh, to the clients that, oh, online marketing is completely different and only we know it and we are magicians. No, completely not. This is my strict warning to you. If a marketer cannot tell you the how of it, do not take his services. A marketer is not a magician. There is a process to everything. And with common sense, you can do it yourself as well. Just that if you already have your business established and you are earning, then save your time by hiring a marketer. But if your budget doesn't allow you, be your first marketer. That's my advice to all the entrepreneurs. Be your first marketers. And only if you have started earning, then hire a marketer. Perfect. And take this 30 minute call, you know, it's really great that people can talk to you on a one on one basis. I mean, I know for sure that there's a lot of questions that are tailored to your business, to where you're standing now. If you're in idea phase or you're already are in business and you want to optimize what you're doing out there, it's really good, you know, just to take advantage of this. Uh, yeah, this consultation with you that is happening in the next two days. Yeah. So take advantage, guys, please. This guy is amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for this. Uh, if you haven't registered to the event, make sure that you send us, you know, your email by inbox or you post it here in comments so we can add you to the mailing list where you are going to get access to all of these slides and to also this uh, action plan that you show, you know, everything that you need to take into account as a checklist, you know, that you you can also use to to go through the whole uh, consultation with with you peers so it's good that you can see hey where am i what i have done and what can i improve with the help of of this expert yeah so thank you for being here and now i'm going to just invite you to what is going to happen next thank you can you yeah. please 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 go to the slides below since you're the master yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's happening next? So as I said before, we're hosting events every single week. Everything is going to be live streamed also for you to be able to join our Q&A, make it more interactive and do all of these things that never happens in a recording webinar, you know, in a record webinar event. So happening next, we have growth tools to break through the digital noise. So basically it's your toolbox, you know, of what to do you know, to complement everything that we have discussing now around marketing. If you check our full program for the month, which is also going to be posted in comments right now, you will see that we're focusing on covering from service-based businesses, products, but also tools that can apply for all of us, you know, especially now that you have, and I guess we'll have high productivity due to a lot of exposure to online and just remote work and quarantine makes it easier, you know, to create all of these things that normally, yeah, to be honest, we procrastinate. <laughs> so this is the time for marketing. This is the time for content creation, but most importantly, this is the time for strategy, you know, to have the right tools in order and to have the experts to help you to set it up and don't improvise with the typical try and error because I don't have any money. You know, take the free calls, take all this free content that we're going to be posting online. Join us. You know, there's a link for you to join. And we're also going to post the, the link here so you can RSVP and get all the information on this next event on Thursday, same time. And next slide, please. And thank you. <laughs> so here is how you can reach out, uh, you know, us uh, across different uh, social media platforms. Also, of course, you can always email or suggest any topics or questions that you have from any of the sessions that we're going to be hosted, you know, pool at seven days to go.com. And that's that. Thank you, everybody. If you have any questions or if you, you know, our expert is going to stay here to just reply to anything that comes even now after, like, just, just check it out for the next five minutes and post anything. Feel free to post anything that we have right now. And that's it. Thank you, everybody, for coming. See you soon. I'm going to be there to grab really nice Colombian coffee on Mondays in something that is called Coffee Break with Maria. Yeah, informal Q&A, way shorter, like 20 to 30 minutes tops. 
that ha that's what is going to happen on Mondays. And then we have our webinars and workshops on Thursdays. See you then. Ciao, ciao. Like you say in the Netherlands, doi, doi. And namaste. Bye -bye. Yeah. Namaste in Hindi. Namaste. <laughs> yeah, namaste. We have a lot of people from India as well. Namaste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. See you. Doi, doi. Bye. Ciao. Bye.